So in this case, we have got a difficult specimen. You can see how deviated the septum is. Okay? So we will start by doing a septoplasty and a septal flap first. Okay? Then we can actually go into the, this area here. Do you have a uh, blade? Sickle knife. So we are going to use... I'm going to raise the septal flap one shot, okay? So the way I do it is slightly different than how it's conventionally taught. So we cut the anterior edge. Usually raising a flap in a cadaver is much more difficult than raising a flap in a real life. So I do my septal flap the way I do a septoplasty. So once you are in the right plane, the mucopericordium, you can dissect it very nicely as you can see here. Okay? So this is how I do my septal flaps. We raise the flap along the mucopericondrium, go up all the way until you can see the keel. So here we're coming to the inferior tunnel. We know there's a septal spur, a very prominent spur there. So here, the spur is very easy for us to tear the flap accidentally. So let's see where the see the flap is torn. Can you see that? There's a spur, and this is the mucopericondrium. So what we want to do is we want to go all the way up to the keel. So it's quite a badly deviated septum, and we should be able to go and identify the keel hopefully very soon. So there. That's the keel coming into view. Can you guys see that? So that's the keel coming into view. And here is a sphenoid ostia. So this is what I would like you all to do. This is a sphenoid ostia there. Okay? So by doing this, you can see the keel on this side already. So the upper margin, usually we cut maximum along the mid portion of the middle turbinate. Because you want to preserve smell if you can. So... And smell is important for you to appreciate food, right? Always cut along the middle part of the middle turbinate so that you can preserve. That's the olfactory cleft, as you can see, all right? There. So, I don't go up too high. I always preserve the old factory cleft. It's always nice when you have a scissors that work. So far, the scissors is working quite nicely. And you go to just below the, uh, the opening of the sphenoid sinus. Okay. Please elevate it again. The same way, we elevate the flap from the lower margin here. The small tear here where the spur was. So, if you want a big flap, you can actually go all the way down along the floor if you require. But here it's not so easy, easy because of the spur that we have. Okay? I'm going to cut this along the floor, just above the floor for the septal flap. So as you go downwards, and then you aim this slightly upwards so that you have a nice pedicle flap. Okay, there you go. So you come to where, look at the pedicle there. So now we have a septal flap, a vascularized septal flap, and you make sure the pedicle is exactly beneath the ostia here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this just beneath the ostia. There. Can you see that? So I've got a nice vascularized septal flap. Okay. Give me a blink for that. And you can see how large the flap is. You can, actually, you can actually push and hold the flap. There. Can you see? A nice, large, vascularized, hard dart flap. A pedicle septal flap. So you, now we're going to push this into the these are pharynx. And that's the sphenoid ostia there. And you can see how the flap comes exactly from the posterior nasal artery just beneath the sphenoid sinus. Okay? So once we have done that, we can correct the septum. Okay? So this is the nasal valve region here. 
So if you want, if you want a proper airway, you must make sure the nasal valve region has got maximum opening. So now we can go this direction here. We'll assume we've infiltrated the septum, the mucopericondyl from the opposite side. So now we need to dissect and elevate the septum from the mucopericondyl from the opposite side as well. And with that, we can actually now dissect the mucopericondyl from the opposite side as well. So here is the septal, this is the keel, and this is phenoid sinus of the opposite side, as you can see. So this gives us the pathway to do a transseptal sphenoidotomy. So you can see the keel on the, on the right, with the ostia on the right here, and you can see the keel on the left, and the sphenoid ostia on the left here. Okay? So, Blixley. So now the septoplasty has been done, and we have a, a much better airway as far as this side is concerned.